Hi, I'm Marcello Maionchi, Chief Product Officer here at Arduino. And here at the Maker Fair, we wanted to showcase uh, some of the real-world examples uh, of Arduino Uno Q, which is the new groundbreaking board that we introduced uh, just a few days ago. Uh, as a revolutionary new product that is combining uh, the legacy of uh, Arduino microcontroller-based technology uh, plus the future of uh, AI-based uh, and microprocessor and Linux-based computing. With UnoQ, you can, uh, thanks to the dual-brain architecture, you can really bring together real-time control uh, and Linux and rich Linux applications. Uh, and one of the scenarios uh, where the combination of these two is really powerful is robotics. And here we have an example of this, uh, you know robotic dog uh, that is really leveraging the real-time part, uh, the microcontroller part of Arduino Uno Q in order to control the movement. Uh, and then, of course, it's using uh, the Le Dragon, uh, Qualcomm Dragon microprocessor in order to do the AI-based uh, you know, compute in order to calculate the motion and be aware of the surroundings uh, in order to move uh, in uh, you know, the right direction in the right way. This is one example, which is robotics, and of course this is kind of a scaled down version, and uh, there can be easily examples of uh, you know, full featured uh, industrial grade. But speaking of industrial grade, we have already industrial implementation of UNOQ, like in uh, PLCs. This is one of the very first examples of UNOQ featured inside uh, you know, a PLC. This is a uh, training kit for you know, PLCs, uh, but we have partners that are coming up uh, with uh, you know, new integrations of UNOQ with uh, you know, PLC architectures. Again, leveraging the real-time control of uh, the Arduino subsystem of UNOQ, plus uh, the power of Linux compute and uh, you know, the uh, ease of use of Arduino AppLab in order to create uh, applications uh, that uh, are both uh, easy to implement uh, uh, as needed for you know, a maker and for an enthusiast, but also as reliable and powerful as needed in his natural applications. Hi, I'm Marcello Maionchi, Arduino's Chief Product Officer, and I'm here again at the Maker Fair, uh, where we you know, are showcasing for the first time uh, Arduino Uno Q, our groundbreaking uh, uh, dual brain uh, you know, new board uh, that is bringing the legacy of Arduino Uno into the future of uh, microprocessors uh, and uh, AI on the edge. Uh, among the many uh, you know, examples and demos uh, uh, that are you know, being uh, you know, put together by you know, ourselves and by our partners and enthusiasts uh, uh, using uh, UNOQ, uh, one of the most popular, as you can see here at the booth, uh, is actually this retro gaming machine uh, uh, that, uh, you know, thanks uh, to the dual architecture of UNOQ, is using the real-time part, so the microcontroller part, uh, to uh, drive uh, you know all the controls uh, that you know these guys are using to play to this uh, kind of you know, old game, and then it's using the computing power and the Linux subsystem in order to actually run the, the proper game in emulation. So this is a you know very kind of you know fun example that of course is you know very popular here, but it's uh, you know one of the best examples of uh, how easy and powerful it is to develop uh, you know rich applications, rich real world applications uh, with UnoQ. So one of the projects makers love more is to create your own smart home, right? And one of the most exciting and famous projects about that is, of course, Home Assistant. Home Assistant is an open source program that is used uh, in a lot of uh, homes, and it allows you to control in a local way all your smart home. We just installed Home Assistant inside the new Arduino Uno Q, and we just connected some silly relays just to show you guys how you can use Home Assistant at your own home just using your Arduino Q. So, if we click here, of course, we are going to control through Home Assistant our home ecosystem, and you can add different vendors, different automations, and create a really smart home thanks to the Arduino Uno Q. So, first of all, uh, here we have the, our new product, the Arduino Uno Q. And the Arduino Uno Q is, it has the original you know, format concept of the Arduino Uno, but instead of just having the microcontroller, we have the microcomputer powered by Qualcomm and the microcontroller. So we have the base of the both walls 
in the same ball, which is really cool. Uh, because of that, we created a new IDE, which is called the Arduino App Lab. Arduino App Lab is really interesting because you can do a lot of stuff of HAI and microcomputing at the same time. Here you can see, for example, that we have the sketch, the typical Arduino sketch, but at the same time, we have the main Pi, the Python program here, and you can edit both things. Thanks to our library called it Bridge, you can uh, set variables between uh, both walls, the microcomputer and the microcontroller, at the same time and in real time. And the result of this kind of stuff are examples like this one, which is a, a YOLO training network able to recognize different objects here, two person here, for example, but if I show you, for example, my cell phone, probably will take it, here we are, okay? A tie, a cell phone, whatever. But this is the point, you know, uh, this is, uh, this is a HAI network, everything is working inside the board. And the cool thing about the Arduino Uno Q is that you can use it as a normal microcontroller, as an embed system, but also as a standalone computer. Hi guys, I'm Marcelo Maionchi, Chief Parker Officer here at Arduino. And here at the Maker Faire in Rome, uh, we are showcasing for the first time Arduino Uno Q and especially AppLab, which is the groundbreaking new software developer environment uh, that uh, you know, for the first time we are releasing uh, along with the product. Uh, one of the key features uh, of uh, Arduino AppLab is the fact that it comes uh, with preloaded examples. Uh, which is a set of uh, various applications uh, that you can just run uh, to explore the capabilities of the board, but also you can take, uh, understand how they work, uh, and then uh, uh, you know, copy them and expand them uh, in order to adapt them to your needs. As you can see here in this graphic, uh, you know, there are many examples that are preloaded uh, that are featuring uh, you know, anything from uh, uh, you know, weather monitoring uh, to voice recognition, uh, 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 image recognitions, uh, uh, featuring Edge AI and other types of technologies. And every single one of these examples uh, is available for you to explore, but also for you to fork uh, and edit uh, and make it your own, uh, customizing it uh, to your needs and expanding it. So we are really looking forward to see what uh, you, know, you will be able to come up with uh, and uh, you know, leveraging your, your creativity together with the ease of use uh, of Arduino Uno Q and AppLab.